Star Wars X-Wing Miniatures fans. This is John from All Miniatures Great and Small and today we're going to be opening up the Inquisitor's TIE Expansion Pack. This is a new Wave 8 model that comes from the Star Wars uh, Rebels animated show. So we're going to go ahead and open this and take a look at what we get for our gaming dollars. Now one thing I've learned about these packages is they are frustrating to open. You can't really tear them open easily. You can tear at it with teeth or a knife, but I found uh, kitchen shears to be the easiest way to open these. So I will often use my kitchen shears. Just trim it right off. I've had these kitchen shears for all of the X-Wing waves. We are now on wave 8 and I can still cut it. I like doing that too because it gives me this piece which I can use as a paint uh, palette and then just throw it away. Uh, it's nice and small and handy. And here we get a Ziploc bag with the cardboard, the expansion pack contents which I always recommend you go over to make sure you have everything you're supposed to, the maneuver for the uh, TIE Advanced prototype. So it looks like it's got uh, a healthy smattering of whites, not much reds. The only red is the Emelman or Corrigan turn. So very nice. And then the backsplash and the model itself. So this is a ship that I believe was created for Star Wars Rebels. Um, kind of like the Phantom, the little attack shuttle that comes with the Ghost. This ship also folds up in the cartoon. The wings kind of fold down. Now this is all solid and static. These wings don't fold down. The idea of this ship is it's a halfway stopping point between the TIE Fighter and Darth Vader's TIE Advanced. So you can see the, you know, the wings are starting to bend in. The back is elongated, like the TIE Advanced will become, and so on. Overall, this model looks great. So not too much with the, uh, the Empire to do. Their stuff is mainly clean, so they're not going to have a lot of grit and grime on them. But looks nice. Um, not too flashy, nothing like that. But it's tiny. It's a small. That's smaller than a regular TIE Fighter. But there you go, that is the TIE Advanced Prototype. Then, in a Ziploc bag, we've got the standard cardboard. The upgrade cards and the pilot cards. So let's take a look at the pilot cards first because that's what we all come for, right? So here we have the Inquisitor. He's pilot skill 8. Not very... Uh, <laughs> that, that is pretty good. And then we see the stats for the TIE Advanced Prototype. So it's got 2 Firepower, uh, 3 Evade, 2 Hull, and 2 Shield. So on par Firepower and Defense with the TIE Fighter and then uh, 2 Hull and 2 Shield makes it a little bit more resilient than your average TIE Fighter. As far as um, maneuvers and upgrade bar here, we can focus, target lock, barrel roll, and boost. So that's a nice set of maneuvers. And then we have an elite pilot slot and a missile slot. The Inquisitor, his special rule is when attacking with your primary weapon at range two or three, treat the range of the attack as range one. Oh. And he is 25 points. So even though your firepower rating is two, um, if you are, you're always going to be attacking with three dice. Um, and I'm wondering if, if you're treating it as range one, then if your opponent does not get his, like range three defense bonus. So that's that's pretty cool. So the Inquisitor, 25 points. He is always going to be rolling three dice in his attacks. Then we have Valen Rudor. Uh, after defending, you may perform a free action for 22 points, pilot skill 6. Not bad. So 
So after defending, he may perform a free action. So that could be a barrel roll or boost or target lock. Very nice. Then we have Baron of the Empire. Um, he's pilot skill four and has no, um, no, no pilot special pilot ability. He's just a Baron of the Empire apparently. Nineteen points, uh, bear vanilla tie advanced prototype. And then we have a signer test pilot, pilot skill two, sixteen points. This is about as cheap as the tie advanced prototype can come. So there you go. You got sixteen points for these. Then we have uh, reference cards for boosts and modifications. So if you're an X-Wing player, you've got 12 billion of these. Um, there you go. That is the contents for the TIE Advanced Prototype. A very cool looking ship. Looking forward to getting this out on the table. Now, I'm not normally an Empire player. That's normally what uh, Jake plays. But I do like uh, taking them out every once in a while. And we'll see how this guy does. So there you go. Thanks for watching this unboxing of the TIE Advanced Prototype. Uh, please give us a thumbs up if you like what you saw. Um, go ahead and subscribe to the channel. Leave us a message down below if you have any experience with this TIE Advanced Prototype, what you guys think. Thanks for watching. Have a great day.